Today is January 17th, 2022, and this is Max. Uh, Max has been having problems uh, in stiffness and soreness in his shoulders and neck, and uh, the chiropractor, Roger Lewis, was here this morning and worked on him first. Um, he found that he had a lot of uh, lock up in his neck in his C6 and his C5. Um, I believe mostly on his left, but I think everything was a bit stuck and, and he worked with him and got a really nice release. So from there I took uh, his direction and uh, we uh, did a lot with that. So I did start out on his head. He's a little bit distracted, didn't really want any work around his ears, which so I left it. I don't want to stress him out. But he was really happy with the mandible and, and jaw massage that I gave him and, and he was quite happy with that. Um, going through his neck, um, I started on the right hand side and his right hand side was quite soft and supple. Um, the, uh, I didn't feel any banding uh, in his neck. Uh, he was really quite relaxed and that was due to the chiro, I believe, like everything was just feeling really quite uh, quite happy and there was no pain or anything so he, he stood really nice for his neck massage right hand side same thing a little bit of tenderness though through where his c5 and c6 is um, so I could tell that it was a bit you know tender from from the chiropractic work so I just was gentle with that but gave nice deep massage uh, going from there um, I went into his lumbar next and his lumbar fell or, not his lumbar, I'm sorry, his uh, withers. His withers feel really good. I didn't feel anything. There was a tiny bit of banding on his right, but it was nothing that would I would consider substantial. Um, I was able to get that little bit of a banding, a little bit of spasming, just to settle right down, to settle down and uh, no problem at all. He was quite happy with that. He had a lot of licking and chewing. He was being a really good boy. Um, so going through from there, I went down into his shoulders. Uh, his left side is definitely so more sore. Uh, going behind his scapula on the right into a C7 was great. He had excellent immediate release and uh, deep massage through the shoulder. So he felt really good. The left side was a lot more difficult. Um, I did get release behind his scapula, uh, but it was a little bit more difficult. He was, he was tender. And again, probably his adjustment made him a little bit sore. But he did release. Um, so once I kind of got that release, I, I let it, left it alone. I, I would have liked a little bit more time in there, but he just didn't tolerate it. So I left it from there. So from there, I went into his pecs. Pecs felt pretty good. He responded nicely uh, through his shoulders. Shoulders were really um, quite happy to have a nice deep massage. He relaxed a lot with that. And, and the muscles are sore. They've been compensating for sore bone. And, uh, you know, needing a chiropractic appointment was you know, causing a little bit of distress to those muscles. So nice deep massage was great. Um, his, I, I lifted his left leg to uh, help a little bit with um, his, uh, his scapula st stretching and stuff. But it, he's really unhappy lifting that left front leg. So instead of fighting him, which we did a little bit, um, I decided just to leave the legs alone. I know Roger did lift the legs and, and without a lot of the chiropractic work. So I decided at that point we'd just leave the legs be since they'd already had some stretching with that. Uh, so those weren't done. But he did respond really good to a nice deep massage in both of his shoulders. He enjoyed that. Um, going through his back, his back felt nice. He had no problems in his back. So I just did nice, even deep massage throughout his back muscles, through his ribs. Um, into his abs underneath and everything felt really quite good. Um, his lumbar was a little bit sore. Now we got the lumbar. It was a little bit sore uh, on his right especially, maybe compensating for that left shoulder. Um, I was able to uh, have him held so he would stand because he wasn't very happy about it at first. Um, and so he stood quite nice. I was able to get nice and deep into his right lumbar, lifting his tail. And uh, it felt really great afterwards. He had no response to pain at all. The left, it wasn't as sore, but I, again, I gave it a nice deep uh, lumbar massage and that felt really great. So the lumbar, I think, is quite happy now. Um, going into his hips, his uh, sacroiliac joint, his lumbosacral joint, his hip joints, all felt nice and solid and, and 
and uh, strong. Um, I know Roger didn't have any problems there when he looked at them. So I just was able to give really good stretching and really good uh, deep massage all through his hip muscles, um, down through his, his um, hamstring, everything. Everything felt really good. So that was really nice. He was quite responsive to that. He really enjoyed it, actually. He would lift his tail and give his tail a big stretch as I was working through his through his hamstrings and, and through his hips and down into the back of his legs. Um, I also did his Galdian scar. Um, I always have uh, suspicion about Galdian scars in these guys, so I always check them. Uh, the right side actually was fine. He had no problem with that. Um, he, he actually seemed to enjoy it. He, he dropped and everything while I was doing it. That was good. The left-hand side, there was a bit of tightness in it. Um, I wouldn't say there's any banding or anything, but just, just a little bit of tightness. So I was able to get a good release on that, and he was quite happy with that. Um, he's quite anxious to get back out in the pasture now, but he uh, did really enjoy his carrot stretching, which they always seem to, and he's very food motivated. So um, that was great. He had excellent flexibility, and uh, he really enjoyed that. So um, that is Max today. So if you have any questions, please just let me know. Thank you.